when you say I'm an unlikely ramen guy, I'm, I am, and yet, in a way, it's sort of, in Japanese, it's say, to me, it's like atarimai, almost common sense. It makes sense because I'm not like a normal American person. I don't know where my Americanness starts and my Japanese-ness ends. I truly love Japan and just about everything about it, and I love food and cooking. And I somehow figured out how to combine both of them and create this really cool life in, in Japan. I'm a Japanophile turned chef, not a chef turned uh, Japanophile. It, I ended up with a ramen shop, but my fantasy was to create a normal life in Tokyo. I wanted to work, I wanted to interact with people. I didn't want to speak English, I wanted to speak Japanese. I got to do a lot of really interesting things within my adopted country and my adopted culture and language. And then I'm, and now I'm back in my hometown in New York City, and now I'm doing it here. I opened the, the Gotham Market and people uh, like it and they like the ramen we have and now I think people are excited to see what, what I can do next and, uh, and I'm excited to show them. Um, I have to take this. Yeah, I'll go right back then. Hello. <laughs> Ramen really does taste the best when all those flavors sort of come together. You get this big bowl of food. It's got a lot of noodles in the broth. The fat's all, all nice and liquidy, and the flavors are really sharp and, and bright. And as the temperature drops, all those flavors begin to dull. It loses some of its luster. It's not like it's inedible when it gets when it cools down. It just changes. There's a lot of things that happen when you learn how to eat ramen a certain way. When you slurp, you learn how to inhale a, a, a whole bunch of noodles into your mouth. It cools down the broth, and you end up with a mouthful of noodles with your lips closed and you're chewing and swallowing rather than kind of leaning over your bowl and biting at the noodles, and they all kind of fall back into the bowl. Slurp, slurp, slurp! Noodles that have been cooked to the proper second. As soon as it goes into that hot bowl of soup, I always feel like there's this ticking of time that the noodles have left to live before they overcook and taste terrible. So there's this urgency to get that bowl to the customer and to get them to slurp up that bowl of ramen. It's sort of become our goal uh, at these shops in New York is to sort of at least get start a conversation about slurping. And for me, the best bowl of ramen are the ones that taste great where I'm slurping and slurping and then I look down and the bowl is empty. And I'm like, oh man, shit, I ate the whole thing already.